After the last video about the Immortal Sapper, there were some leftover questions worth answering. Most notably, what happens if we start mixing sappers? The first thing to note is that it's not possible for both sappers' effects to happen simultaneously. If I sap a sentry and then switch to the red tape recorder, the stock sapper will now start making the building downgrade. Similarly, if I sap with the red tape recorder, then switch to the stock sapper, it will start draining its health and the sentry begins reverting back to the normal state. What the sapper currently does is decided by which sapper you have on you. This is theoretically possible to pull off in a real game too, but I'm not sure why you would want to do so. If you sap a building then quickly run back to the resupply cabinet to change sappers, you could really confuse the engineer. As for trying to perform the immortal sapper glitch with the red tape recorder, it doesn't work. But if we first execute the immortal sapper glitch with the stock sapper, then switch to the red tape recorder to sap it, it kinda works. Sapping at once, we're presented with a similar situation that started this mess. The sapper outline is visible, even though we've already sapped it. If we don't do anything now, the building goes through the usual motions and returns to normal. If we sap twice, it reverts really quickly and rebuilds. But here's the fun part. After sapping it twice, I can hold left click and... The sentry starts having extremely existential thoughts experiencing intense difficulty in deciding whether he wants to live or die. If we perform this on the dispenser, it freaks out a bit at the start, but otherwise it acts pretty normal. For the teleporter, it can end up in a state where it's both building and functional. When you pick up a sentry and teleporter that gets bugged with two sappers, the sapper teleports to your current location as the spy. But for some reason, the dispenser acts differently. When the dispenser gets picked up, the sapper stays attached, and both the spy and the engineer can see the white outline that represents where it will be built. But the engineer is still in control of where the building gets placed. Switching classes will destroy the sapper and also end the glitch. Since picking up the sentry when it has two sappers on it makes the sapper teleport to the spy and stay there, it's true that you can theoretically keep doing this and eventually crash the game because there's too many objects to keep track of. But the pace at which you can perform this glitch is so slow, I doubt you will ever be able to actually pull it off. If this glitch ever does happen in a real game, could you theoretically tank the sentry to keep it alive? With the stock wrench, the sapper outpaces the rate at which a level 1 dispenser can replenish your metal. However, a level 2 dispenser is enough to keep your sentry alive forever if you're mad enough to do it this way. For the maddest of lads out there, if there's one other engineer with you, if you both hit the sentry at the same time, you can eventually level up a glitched sentry. Leveling up doesn't get rid of the sapper, but the spy also won't be able to add new ones. And finally, some extra clarification. This bug, as I explained in last video, is about model changes. So for the sentry, when it's first building, that's one model. Then it switches to a completed level 1. 
then an upgrading level 1. A complete level 2. An upgrading level 2. And last, a complete level 3. If you sap a building during any of the transitions between models, the glitch happens. The dispenser only checks for build points when it first finishes building, and the teleporter only has one model switch when it's first building into a completed teleporter. This is why both of them can only be immortal sapped when it's first building. Hi, my name is Gabe Newell. Spy. Spy. Thanks, and have fun.